guys, it's Lizzie. So over the course of my academic career, there have been many times when I've been failing a class, but I have never failed a class. Meaning, whenever I see that I have an F in a class, I go in major freak out mode and I do everything I can to ensure that that grade gets up to an A or a B. <laughs> I'm actually failing my Euro class right now, that's why I'm making this. But I guarantee that by the time I graduate, it's going to be up to an A or a B. So the first thing you need to do is look at a progress report and figure out specifically what you're missing or what you have a zero on. In my school district, we have this online thing that you log into and every Friday it posts your grades for every class. And so at this point, you don't even have to go talk to your teacher. You can just like find out for yourself what the problem assignments are and go figure out why you don't have grades for them. If you're a good student and you like turn in assignments and are there on test day and study a little bit, then it's probably a mistake by your teacher in the grading. And so this is why it's really important to keep everything that the teacher gives back to you. And so if you have an assignment and you see like, whoa, I got an 100, and then on the grade thing it says you got a zero, or he accidentally put that you got a 10, then you can just take the assignment and be like, hey, here, fix this. If you're positive that you turned something in, but your teacher didn't give it back to you and it's not showing up on the grade report, then go kindly tell your teacher that you, if you're positive you turned it in and ask them very nicely if they can look for it and find it. So what I've picked up over the years is that if you're like super nice to your teachers and you act normal around them and you're not super manipulative and bullying them about your grade, then they're going to work with you instead of against you in helping you raise this grade. So if all the grades are correct and the problem is just that you hate the class and get X on everything, then you want to see if there's any extra credit opportunities because most likely you're finding out about this grade towards the end of the semester or the end of the quarter and so there's not too much that you can do to drastically improve your performance in the class. And so most teachers offer extra credit, and I've noticed this is a really strange correlation. As I get older in high school years and get enrolled in more AP classes, I find that the higher level classes offer way more extra credit. So find out what the extra credit is, do it ahead of time, as soon as possible, and put like super all your effort into it and do really well on the extra credit so that your teacher gives you all of the points possible. If there are assignments that you haven't turned in, what you want to do is finish those immediately. And what I would do is instead of going and asking your teacher like, hey, I didn't do this homework due two months ago. Can I turn it in tomorrow? No, do it and then come in tomorrow and be like, hey, can you accept this for half credit? What I found is that when I turn in assignments late and I just ask them like, hey, can I have half credit on this? They end up giving me full credit because I was kind of humble about the fact that it was turned in late. And so understand that you're not going to get full credit for this assignment and ask them if you can just have some credit and then they might be even more merciful towards you. So then the most important part is the remaining homework assignments, the remaining quizzes, the remaining tests. You need to make it a priority to do perfect on these remaining grades. And if that involves not going on your computer for the next week, then don't go on your computer for the next week. If that means like silencing your phone and hiding it right when you walk into the door, do that. If that means actually going up to your teacher during lunch or in the morning and asking them for help, oh gosh, what a strange concept. And if you're not comfortable going to your teacher for help, which over the years I've gotten super comfortable with, so if you're like younger in middle school, I understand you might be a little intimidated by your teacher, then what you can do is either ask someone in your family for help, or you can ask someone in the class who you know, or a smart person who you know, and then if you just don't like asking people for help, you can go to Khan Academy, it is a YouTube channel, and they have tutorials on pretty much everything. And last year I was in pre-calc and I was failing pre-calc because in class I wrote debate speeches and short stories and I never paid attention or studied or did my homework so obviously I ended up with an F. I went on the YouTube channel and watched video tutorials of my pre-calc lessons and then I ended up getting an A on the next quiz. And because I worked so hard on the last few assignments, I ended up getting a B in the class. NBD. <laughs> if it's not plausible in your situation to even raise your grade to a B, let me tell you, it is so much better to end up with a D in your GPA than an F, or a C in your GPA and HPA than an F. And so always aim for the higher grade, even if it still looks kind of terrible. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that these tips help you guys not fail your classes. And comment below about how much you hate math class. <laughs> Bye!